every time we claim our space, every time we project our voice as women, we are creating and we are holding space for other women. So, ganun ka importante yun. I grew up in a family, in a clan of a lot of strong women, very loud voice cousins, but who never intimidated me from speaking when I wanted to, and who listened and who gave uh, weight also to what I would be sharing in our family reunions. So I grew up, though a shy young person, knowing that I too had a space, my voice had a space, and I too had a right and sometimes a responsibility to, to speak up whatever I was thinking or feeling. And yung mga sumusunod na series of happy accidents strengthened my resolve to be an activist, a lifelong activist as a young woman. So yung Noise Barat, yung 1978 para sa Laban Slate who were running for the interim batasang pambansa from prison with sina, the late Senator Ninoy Aquino and others. 1981, mommy brought me to a symposium of the Nuclear Free Philippines Coalition and I was so inspired by that, that coming back to school the next school year, I formed the Nuclear Disarmament Group. And then when I was in college and active in the Student Council, those were the years that Ninoy Aquino was assassinated and then the SNAP elections were called and then the civil disobedience campaign was launched and then the People Power Revolution happened. So, I mean, all of these I engaged as a young woman. So, I guess those were the years, the decades that I realized that I wanted to continue working so that other young women like me could contribute as much as we could sa ganitong mga kaganapan ng mga napakamakasaysayan and also in the more prosaic uh, everyday things that we're involved in as women. Like many of my generation, I was also taught the traditional stereotypes as a young girl. But there were more influences in those circles uh, that encouraged me to, as I tell my kids now and other young people whom I talk to, to follow my bliss. I never once was taught or never thought that my sex or my gender would be a hindrance. Pero, nung bata ako, hindi ko naisip na I would be working as a senator now. Hindi dahil babae ako, but mas dahil nagsimula akong aktivista na ang reflex ko noon pag election boycott. <laughs> so, it took a change of worldview uh, especially in my party, Akbayan, to think that, ah, okay, we can also work for change inside the state, not just outside the state. And I can share this much with you, no, na every time we claim our space, every time we project our voice as women and kayo as younger women, wherever you want to be, in spite of some people probably telling you or telling me then na, na we don't belong there. When we still do that, we are creating and we are holding space for other women. So, ganun ka-importante yun.